Hello, I'm Dave. This is my son Bailey. Today I'm going to put a video together. Um, I'm going to show you a few bits that I've purchased that have arrived to help me do these YouTube videos. I am going to still order a microphone. I've not got that yet, so the sound quality will still be the same as previously. And then I'll do some jobs on my cars, a sticky sticker on the Fiesta. And then I'm going to look at the Mondeo. It's due for its MOT in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to do a pre-MOT around that and I'll uh, talk you through that. Yeah, today, so a couple of bits arrived that I've ordered through the post. I've got a HDMI cable so I can connect my iPhone to my TV upstairs in the bedroom. I don't have a smart TV up here. And then I can watch my YouTube videos back on the TV, listen to the sound quality, check that the videos fill the screen. I'm going to try and remember to do my videos in landscape mode now, as I said on the previous videos. And also a tripod arrived so I can put my iPhone camera video onto the tripod and uh, hopefully that'll help me do some of my videos on my cars outside. Yeah, so this is the HMDI cable that I ordered. This end obviously goes into the TV, this end into a charger, into the mains, this end into my iPhone. So now I can connect my phone to the TV. I do um, all my editing and that up here in the room. So you can see my phone's connected to the TV so I can watch my YouTube videos back on the TV now um, while I'm doing my editing. And above the TV, just a quick shot there, my little latest shots with the Rubik Cubes and the Rally Burner. I just thought I'd add this in for a bit of fun. I can actually do the Rubik Cube, as you've just seen a few on my shelf. I'll try and hold it up to the camera while I attempt to do it now. See, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> and here is my other larger tripod that arrived. Just a quick shot of that now. I'll set this up outside and uh, show you that on my video in a minute. And while I was upstairs editing this video together, there was a knock on the door with some more stuff that I've ordered. Some stickers from a Facebook group that I'm a member of and a t-shirt, which I'll show you in a minute. And a smaller tripod, handheld, Remote control. Hopefully I can um, get the remote control set up to the Bluetooth of my phone. Hopefully I'll get that to work. See how it goes. And my t-shirt from the Facebook group that I'm a member of. Right, so hopefully I'm in view of the camera now. I've put my phone in my small tripod on top of my toolbox and I have set up the Bluetooth remote control which I just pressed record for on this video. Hopefully when I go around and look at this I will be on screen. And this is the larger tripod that I ordered. Folds up. The uh, top wasn't on when I uh, when it arrived. 
screws on. Screws on here that holds the firm. There's all the different adjustable angles. Uh, spin it around, lean it back. I think that's a little spirit level on. Came in this box with a a bag. Not really sure if the bag no drawstring or anything on it, but anyway, I can use the bag if I want to. And we can have it at different sizes. All the feet extend. I will be adding some clips in of car jobs shortly. Just thought since some things that I drive this morning, that I would show you these. And if the camera picks, still picks this up, this is its full height. So, yeah, there's one of my eBay purchases. The small tripod was another eBay, eBay purchase. And Here's my phone, just sat in the small tripod. My little remote here, if we zoom in. And there we go. Yeah, so I'm happy with all those. Right, so I'll pull the Fiesta forward and find somewhere to stick one of these rat stickers on. Try and fit it in this little gap here. I think it will just fit. I've got um, quite a few stickers on now, as you can see. So next I'll pull the Mondeo in and I'm going to do a pre-MOT on it myself as it's um, due for MOT in a couple of weeks so I'll have a look around it, do a short video as I'm doing that and hopefully when it goes in it'll pass. So I've got the Mondeo out, 
I'll uh, have a quick look. Go and check the suspension. If when you're doing this it bounces a lot, then that's not good. But on the rebound, it seems okay to me. So check around both sides of the tyre, uh, the tyre wall for any bulges, the tread on the tyre, which obviously in this case I'd be disappointed if they weren't okay because I didn't have these fitted very long ago. Six mil, that's good. Obviously I'll be checking all four tyres, like I said, I'll be checking the, the rear wall as well in a minute. We check the coil springs. What we're looking for is any snapped coils. I know these are a bit mucky and rusty, but we're looking for snapped coils, which there isn't any on this this side. Yes, like I say, we we check the rear wall of the tire. Well, four tires, obviously. No bulges. All good there. We check the CV boots, inner and outer, wheel bearings. Check for wheel bearing noise, all good there. Slight noise you can hear there is just the brake pads. It's got fine. Yeah, so what we're looking at under here is the CV boot and there's an inner one near the gearbox as well. If that's split, leaking grease that will fail it's all good what I also was looking at the, the bottom ball joint and the playing any bushes here and there's another one at the at the rear just here Also, I was checking for play in the steering rack and the track rod end. Also, the discs, they look fine. The pads, you just see down where my finger's pointing down there, they will check for the thickness. I'm not sure what the limit is, but they're, they're far, absolutely fine at that. So again, on the back, the same as the front, I'll check the tire the same as the front. The brake discs look fine. The pads, you just, I can't get the camera in. I can see the pads are fine. Oh, the pads are just down there. I can see with my eye, the thickness of the pads is good. I'll, I'll check the tread. Again, we check the, when I can get the camera in. The rear coil springs, the snaps, all good. Right, yeah, so I'll go underneath. I'll take the camera with me and see if we can show you anything. Uh, just have a quick look around for the, the rear bushes, um, any rot anywhere, uh, a quick look at the brake lines underneath and the fuel lines, which I know they're okay because I've looked at them recently. Um, yeah, I'll uh, try and get the camera under there. Yeah, so I've tried to get a bit of light under here. These are the fuel lines on the brake lines front to rear. Like I say, I, I knew they were okay because I've looked at them recently and looked at them thoroughly and gone over them. The MOT test will obviously also check the floor pans for any rot. The chassis ra rails, chassis legs, whatever you want to call these on this car. Don't get up too light in here. They will also, because I have side skirts, but you can see the sill behind there. Yeah, 
the exhaust. That's, that's the cat on this car. They did check, they check the exhaust for any leaks, which again, I know this is good. Maybe see some of my poor quality welding there, but I haven't bothered it on. Flexi pipe there. I will go around the other side quickly, probably off camera, to be honest. We'll take the camera on the back now and see if I can get the camera in to show you the bushes I'd check in the rear. Right, bear with me. I'm showing you which bushes I'm going to check. I'm going to have to check them off camera. It's a pointing stick. <laughs> one there, one there. Both ends of the of this arm um, and the chassis yes yeah, so a quick spin of the wheel the only noise you can hear there is the bind of the brakes i will in shortly put the handbrake on and show you that the wheel's locked up but obviously it has to pass the the brake test in the MOT, they have to be balanced correctly, front and rear and side to side, etc. But I'm just listening for bearing noise, but there's no bearing noise. And then, do we check for any bearing movement this way? All good there. I would probably feel the play in the bushes from there, but I will go underneath and have another, another look, like I said. So I've applied the handbrake and I'm just showing you that the brake is working. But like I said, it has to pass the brake test that they do. But it looks good to me. And also, we check the flexi, where well you can see my stick, the flexi brake lines and some more brake lines I, I go around and check them all these obviously go one to each corner so i'll go around and check any brake lines that i can see and look down as far as i can but as far as i'm aware they're okay i do look around my cars regularly i'm quite obsessive like that so up there on the rear chassis leg i've just given it a quick spray of black underseal i um gave it a tap and a bang and there was no holes or nothing but it did look a little bit scabby I gave it a, a tap and a scrape and just a quick coat of this under body seal just to tidy it up a bit I'll keep an eye on it and under the front there's no um, major leaks or anything because I'm aware that major leaks fail there's the front subframe it does look a bit it's, it's actually the paint peeling off that, that could be a, a job for me later on in the year give it a good wire brush and a, a good lick of black paint but yeah, the subframe is solid. And the front subframe bushes to check both sides. And the rear bushes, both sides of the front subframe. Also, when checking the rear suspension, check in here where the torch is shining now for any signs of any oil leakage, because that would be a failure. All good there. All good on all four of mine. And again, with the suspension, the link bars, drop links, whatever you want to call them, there's one on each corner. Just um, You'd hear them rattling anyway, you'd, you'd probably know there's something wrong before. But just a little ball drop that's inside of the camera now, there's one on each end. Just check those. And obviously we want all the lights working, just a quick walk around. There's the uh, rear lights, I've not got the brake lights on yet, I'll check them in a minute. Number plate lights. I keep hearing my reverse sensors beeping, that's why I'm pausing. <laughs> Quick round, walk around to the front. <clears throat> Side repeater. We have headlight main beam indicator. Fog light. Just have to double check that side light, I think it is on. Headlight main beam indicator. The side light's definitely on this side. Just have to check, double check that one in a second. Side repeater. So yes, that side light was working. 
this is how I check the brake lights working alone. Just wedge a stick onto a bit of board onto the brake pedal. And round the back, we have the high level brake light. All the brake lights are working, that's all good. And dash lights come into the MOT now. I'll turn the ignition on. As you can see, the engine light must light up and go off and the airbag light. So when I start the car, engine light, airbag light, they must light up and go off and I'll redo it because I missed one out, the ABS. ABS, that must come on and go off. So, all good there. And the horn. And the window washers. Yeah, so that's the pre-MOT done on the Mondeo by myself. Hopefully when I take it in a couple of weeks time, it'll pass. If not, I'll have to do some work. Bailey's not with me at the moment, I'm just in the Fiesta, I've just uh, nipped out, I'm going to go to Tesco's, Bailey's at school. Bailey does uh, a lot of the filming for these videos, you don't hear him speaking much. He says he does want to speak but he's unsure what to say and I'm unsure or unconfident in what I say sometimes to be honest, so uh, I understand that. When we go to some of the car shows, uh, when Bailey's filming hopefully we'll get him speaking of, about some of the cars that he's looking at. like, thumbs down if you don't.